Theater for Family Feud Live After Hours. How we doing tonight, everyone? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Now, a round of applause. How many of y'all excited for Family Feud Live? Tonight, we got two families battling it out head to head, trying to make it to 300 points in the face-off round. Whichever team gets there first moves on to fast money, and if they score... 200 points in the fast money round. They're going home with $500 carnival cash. Now, I love that we got two different Dre's. We got Lil Dre, we got Big Dre. This is Lil Dre over here. You might remember Lil Dre from our sail away party. Came out, busted a move to poison. You might remember him from our Family Feud live audition finals, putting up the top score of the day. Dre, are you and the big backs ready to go? You ready to go, Alex? You ready to go? Let's All right. do this. Can you do me a favor? Can you introduce us to your family, please? So this is my mom, my mom from Maryland. This is my big bro DC from Virginia. This is my auntie Shauna from Memphis. And that's my big brother Dre from Detroit. All right, Amber, Dre, this is just like it was in the live audition finals, but instead of the beanbag of destiny, you've got the buzzers, all right? I'm going to ask you a question. First one to hit the buzzer gets to give the first answer. Now this time, if it's the top answer on the board, you take control, you can decide if your family is going to play or pass. If you give me anything but the top answer, your opponent has a chance to steal control, and we will take it from there. So Amber, you ready? Yep. Dre, you ready? Hell yeah. All right. We surveyed 100 women, and the top eight answers are on the board. Name a way to describe a mattress that also describes how you like your man. Dre. Big. Big. <laughs> Show me big. What was that? Firm. Oh, Lisa's going with firm. Show me firm. Oh. Hey! All right, you've got control of the board. DC, we are up to you. Now, DC, we surveyed 100 women, and we want to know, name a way to describe a mattress that's also, wait, name a way to describe a mattress that also describes how you like your man. <laughs> Soft. Alright. Oh yes, yeah, soft. Oh hey, look, gentlemen, we don't all have to have rip six packs. Sometimes, you know, they say more cushion. Good answer. Show me soft. <laughs> Top two answers already taken. Hey Shanna. Hey, how you doing? Now you, you I'm sure you've slept on plenty of mattresses in your day. But like your own mattress. I'm not trying to put anything, not trying to put your business out there. <laughs> Shannon, name a way to describe a mattress that also describes how you like your man. I'm gonna go with cuddly. Cuddly. I have never had a cuddly mattress. Alright, we'll take comfy. We'll take this up for interpretation. Comfy feels good. All right, Drake, you got us here in the first place. Big Dre kept us here. Let's see what little Dre's got. Name a way, oh no, I'm sorry, Lisa got us here in the first place. Name a way to describe a mattress that also describes how you like your man. Smell good. Smells good. No one wants to lay on a stinky mattress. Here we go, show me. Smells good. It smells good. <laughs> a delightful scent. Ah, oh, like your man. Sexy. Sexy. I've seen a sexy mattress before. Here we go to keep control. Show me sexy. Oh no. It gets very itchy, just so you know. Show me. Silky smooth. Okay! Those points go to Captain and the Big Backs! Captain Dre, congratulations! 
but there's still five answers on the board. We didn't find them. I'm curious, what do y'all think they might have been? Cool. Thick, cool. comfy, yeah. padded. Cool. Hey, let's see what they were together. What was number eight? Adjustable. <laughs> Boys, you gotta be flexible. What was number six? Warm. Okay, I like that. What was number five? Clean. Yeah. Ain't nobody want to sleep on a dirty mattress. What was number four? Support. Oh. Honestly, I felt that one. What was number three? Strong and accessories are on the board. I think one of you may have an unfair advantage. Name something specific that instantly makes you think about a past romance. Lisa. Lotion. Lotion. <laughs> We're gonna get to the bottom of that. Show me lotion. I'm not surprised. There's a story there and we're going to hear it. Matthew, name something specific that instantly reminds you about a past romance. Old faces. Old faces. Old faces. All right. Show me old faces. Oh, they're thinking. Production team's hard work. Okay. Same as before. We're moving on down the line. DC. This is a tough one. Name something Hello. specific that instantly makes you think about a past romance. Hey. <laughs> scent. Smell. Smell. Scent. All right. Good answer. A scent or a smell. Show me scent or smell. All right. There we go. Okay. No. I have You got a husband out there? That's the only man that's ever been in your life, right? Okay. Well, if you were one of these loose women who had all of these past romances in their lives, I want you to put yourselves in their shoes right now. And I want you to name something specific that instantly makes you think about a past romance. An old picture. Old pictures. Good answer. That'll bring you right back. Show me old... Wait, why is the answer that was on the... What happened to the answer that was on the screen? Can we bring Cologne back, please? Okay, there we go. Old pictures. Show me old pictures. All right, Big Dre. Big Dre, do you have any any scorned ladies in your past? Yeah, man. You broke some hearts along the way? Yeah, I was a player. You were a player. Man. Hey. Hey, you, you're not a player, you just crush a lot. I just crush, I did. That's right. Uh, Big Dre, we surveyed 100 women. Name something specific that instantly makes you think about a past romance. Um, old conversations. Old conversations, yes. I still think about them all the time. And that is exactly why I left. Show me old conversations. I'm so sorry, our production team is listening in on AM radio. <laughs> Old conversations. All right, not quite, not past romance. How about a trip? A trip? Yeah, that brings back memories. You go to Jamaica, you remember that time on the beach? Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Show me a trip. Instantly makes you think about a past romance. I want to say music. Music! Yeah. Those songs will trigger the... I think a lot of people out there are thinking music also. Here we go, show me music. There it is. That special song. That top answer on the board. If you came up with that the first time around. All right, DC, we're back. Three answers remain. You gave us a good one earlier. Let's see if you got another one. Name something specific that instantly Makes you think about a past romance. No, don't stop it. You're distracting him. Now, DC, I do need an answer. You got three seconds, my friend. Oh, all right. He got memories in as the buzz. All right. Either way, 
not quite there. Now there's 78 points on the board, three answers remaining. Sail fast, live slow, you have had your time to discuss. Now we must have an answer. Amber, to steal those 78 points and storm into the lead. Otherwise, Captain and the Big Bats are halfway to their 150 points. Name something specific that instantly makes you think about a past romance. A certain place. A certain place. Good answer. Maybe it's a restaurant. Maybe it's a vacation destination. Maybe it's the first place the two of you had ice cream. <laughs> oh, more specific. Okay, a, a place is not specific enough, apparently. A restaurant. All right. First dates happen at that restaurant. Show me restaurant. Yeah. There you go. Uh, DC Engine. Now this is anyone's game right now and it could all turn on a dime because for this round, the point values are doubled. Mm. Now, we surveyed 100 people and the top five answers are on the board. If a woman chose a man like she chooses fruits and vegetables, mm. name something she'd do to him before a first date. Ooh, DC. Suck Oh, shit. Oh. Now he put my girl out there like that. I can't believe I'm going to say this out loud. <laughs> oh. Show me suck him. Oh. <laughs> you nasty. All right, Jim, there are four answers that will give you control. If a woman chose a man like she chooses fruits and vegetables, Please name no. something she'd do to him before first date. Feel her. Feel him! You gotta feel him, make sure he's firm. Show me, feel him! There you go! Before a first date. Check him for freshness. Check him for freshness. That's a good answer, I like it. To keep control, show me, check him for freshness. Alex, more specific, please. Mm. More spe How would you check him for freshness? Mm. Um, like check for bruises, and, <laughs> you know, ailments. Okay. Mm. We gotta make sure that he's not. We gotta make sure he's not coming from a broken home. <laughs> show me check. I'm so sorry that joke was messed up. Show me check for bruises. Okay, eyeball. You can they send you through to fast money, but it will give you a commanding lead if you can steal those points. Otherwise, they go to sail fast, live slow. Y'all have had a chance to talk, to confer. Two answers will give you the points. If a woman chose a man like she chooses fruits and vegetables, name something she'd do to him before first date. Smell him. Smell him! Yeah. That's a good answer. Got to be All up right. there. That's, if that's on the board, you steal those points. Otherwise, they go to sail fast, live slow. Show me. Smell him. Right there. Yeah. 166 points. Woo. Going to Captain and the Big Shirley. Hi, right, Big Shirley. You got this. All right. Now, ladies, it's literally anyone's game. Because for this round, the point values are tripled. Let's go, Big Shirley. We surveyed 100 people, and the top four answers are on the board. <laughs> Name something neighbors swap with each other. Shanna? Shanna didn't even wait to hit the button. She just shouted it out. Show me spouses. Not spouses. Uh, uh, Belda, any answer on the board takes control. Name something neighbors swap with each other. Sugar. 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 Da, 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 da. Oh, honey, honey. Show me sugar. Okay, food. Come on, we got a chance to steal. Stop it. Stop it right now. Put your hand on the 
Put your hand she's out. So she's she's Bad she said spouses. <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> to keep control and your chance to go to fast money. Come on. Name something neighbors yeah. swap with each other. No, recipes. Recipes! Oh, oh that's not the same as food, so you gotta cook the food first. They might get it. To keep control. Come on. Show me recipes. No. Damn. There you go. Look at that. All right. Jim, it's still not quite enough points to send you through to Fast Money. We need another one of those answers Come on the board. On, Otherwise, they've got a chance to steal. Name something <laughs> neighbors swap with each other. Tools. Tools! My man is ready. Neighbors are always trading hoes with each other. Garden hoes. Show me tools. Okay. I, they have reconfirmed. I think that was their answer. answer. Look, Velda, this could be a comeback for the ages. There's two strikes on the board. If you can give us that last answer, it just might put you over the top. Okay. So, Velda, to send your team to fast money, otherwise, Captain and the Big Backs have a chance to steal. Name something that neighbors swap with each other. I think I got it. Gossip. Gossip! Oh. Neighbors yeah, always ending up in each other's yeah. business. <laughs> that damn HOA. Okay. <laughs> to steal the points, oh. or keep the points, and possibly send them through to fast money. No, no, Otherwise, no. Captain and the Big Backs have a chance to steal. Come on. Show. Me. Gossip. Dang. remaining on the board, sail fast, live slow. You have cleared the board, taken enough points to send you through to fast money. Let's hear it for sail fast, live slow. Captain the Big Backs, it has been such a joy to have you on the show and to have you on board this cruise. Thank you so much for playing. How are you feeling right now? We didn't make it to fast money, okay. but I guess well, we're going to listen in that case, to see if Amber and her people make it. So Amber, you've done this already. This was the lady we went against earlier. Because there's going to be a time limit. So I have five questions for you. I need you to give me the first answer that comes to mind. I need you to speak loud and clear into the microphone so our production team can hear you. If you get stuck on any of the questions, say skip or pass. We'll go to the next question. We'll come back to that one if there is time. Now, you have 20 seconds on the clock. And your time will start after I read the first question. Amber, any questions? Are you ready to go? Yep. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Amber, your time will start once I finish reading the first question. When you're in New Orleans, name something that you associate with Mardi Gras. Bill Street. Name a location where you had your first kiss. She said Bill Street. A restaurant. Name a slang term for jail. Skip. Name something a stripper might claim as a tax deduction. Money. Name Kids. something people blame their gray hair on. Kids. Kids. All right. We got kids in right there at the end if our producer is going to accept that. But hey, good answers. Let's hear for Amber. All right. Amber, you got four of the five answers in and you gave us four great answers. Now I know this is a little bit tougher than it is during the live audition finals. But how are you feeling about how you did? Okay. Okay. I mean, you seem to get to like 100 points. You do half the work. Then your teammate does the other half. We'll see what Bruce does. But now that it's different, I mean, for our audition finals, the lights were up. The audience was small. You had plenty of time to think. Now that the lights are low, the audience has grown, <laughs> and the lights are on you. How does it feel to actually be on Family Feud? It's fun. It is, isn't yeah. it? I'm so sorry that we couldn't get Steve Harvey here. That's okay. Instead, you got his shorter broker, albino cousin, <laughs> as I like to say. But I like to feel like that the spirit of Steve Harvey lives on in this room. He's not guys. dead, by the way. I know how that sounded, everybody. See just how well you did. Remember, you need 200 points. You're not going to get there on your own. But let's see if we set Bruce up for success. We asked you, 
when you're in New Orleans, name something that you associate with Mardi Gras. You said Beale Street. Is Beale Street in New Orleans or is it in Memphis? It's in Memphis. No, let's see what everybody else thought. Survey said? Yeah, it's a close one. We asked you, name a location where you had your first kiss. You said? At a restaurant, always a popular location. Survey said? Not that popular. We asked you to name a slang term for jail. Unfortunately, you did not have an answer. We asked you, name something a stripper might claim as a tax deduction. You said? Money. Survey said? Oh. Amber, you need 100 points on this last question. <laughs> I don't believe in you. We said, name something people blame their gray hair on. You said? Kids. That's got to be up there. Sur oh, stop agreeing, y'all. Your kids are here. Survey said? Hey! I can't wait to see what happens. Oh, Bruce Turner, bad. come on over here next to me. He need a right, whole Bruce, lot of points. You need 173 oh, points. Damn. <laughs> That's right, you got this. Come on, you can do it. So we asked you, when you're in New Orleans, name something that you associate with Mardi Gras. You said, beads or beaded necklace. Oh, yeah. Amber told us a straight oh, necklace. That's a good one. Survey said, hey, look at that. What? The top answer was alcohol. Oh, alcohol. All right, name a location where you had your first kiss. You said church. And the bleachers. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I've heard. I've heard worse. That makes up for the next answer. Makes up for the next answer. Just smooching in front of Jesus. The survey said, not surprised. The top answer was a car, just a different C word. All right. We said name a slang term for jail. You said? The slammer, that's a good one. Survey said? Okay, I need your help. The top answer was hooskow. What the hell does that mean? Raise your hand if you've heard hooskow before. I've heard it. I, we're gonna, Bruce, we're going to have to Google this. Never heard we'll do that. Drink. All right, you need 139 points. <laughs> it can happen. We said name something a stripper might claim as a tax deduction. You said... Head. In my head, he means like the, the therapy. You know what know. he means. Ice cream. I know what he means. I okay. know exactly what he means. Just said Felicia. <laughs> Survey said? Nope, nothing. Oh, All right. that sloppy Bruce, copy. We surveyed 100 people, so you still have a chance. <laughs> no. We said, name something people blame their gray hair on. You said? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> we didn't quite make it the top answer to stress or worry. Yeah. But you know what?